Okay, students, welcome to the second part yeah, of your um, tips and overview for Chapter 8 Circular Measure. Alright, let's get to it. Remember, we did the first two formulas and I told you that that will be given during your exam. That will be in the formula list. However, this second and the third, uh, sorry, the third and the fourth formula that I'm going to explain to you now, it will not be given, right? So please make sure that you understand it so that you can remember it. Okay, let's say you have a circle uh, with the center O. And this is the sector, and the angle is theta, and the radius is r. Okay, and what you will be asked to find now is not the area or the length of arc, but what you will be find now uh, will be asked to find now is to find this shaded segment. So this is called segment, yeah, the segment of a circle. Okay, this is the sector, the one that you did just now to find the area of sector, but now this is segment. You'll be asked to find two things of the segment, yeah? Two things about the segment, okay? The first one is to find the perimeter of the segment. And the second would be to find the area, okay? Perimeter of segment. Or sometimes they will write it as perimeter of the shaded region, Okay? Right, so in order to find the perimeter, you have to understand or break it up, break up the uh, shaded region. The shaded region is made out of a straight line and a the arc, right? So if you find the length of the straight line plus the length of the arc, that will be the perimeter of the shaded region. Alright, so that would be the shaded region is made out of the length of arc. The length of arc comes from the first formula, r theta, s equals r theta, so that's r theta plus this straight line yeah this straight line comes from this how do you find the length of this straight line the theory is to break up the sector into a tri into two triangles and it's isosceles triangle because the radius is the same so you may find the length of this straight line here using uh sine because there is r here r is the hypotenuse because down this is a right angle triangle Okay, so you can find this using sine for half of theta. Alright, so basically the uh, explanation is this. Sine of half of theta would equal to the length that you're looking for. Let's say it's x. Yeah, let's say this is x. Over hypotenuse is r, right? So x would equal to r sine theta over 2. And that is just half, right? That's half of it. You're going to look for the whole thing. So therefore, the length, this length, okay, this particular length here, the one that you're looking for, that is 2x, isn't it? That is 2x. So therefore, that would be 2 times of this. 2x is 2 times of this. So the length is 2r sine theta over 2. And that is the straight line here. And by adding this with the length of the arc, you will get the perimeter of the segment or the shaded region. Okay, so this is the formula. And something that I want you to take note of, very important. Remember this theta must be in radian. And unless your calculator is in radian mode, okay, which by default it is not, yeah? By default, the calculator is in degree mode. So then your sign... Whatever that has to do with sine, cos, or tangent, the theta, the angle here, this one, must be in degree. Alright? Unless you have changed your calculator to radian mode, then you can put this theta in radian. Otherwise, you must put it in degree. Please remember that, yeah? A lot of students make this mistake. In fact, if you change your calculator to radian, then you must remember to change it back to degree when you're doing other things. Because the only time when you use radian in the whole of SPM at math, the only time when you use radian for angle is in this chapter, chapter 8. But in other chapters, when you have cos or sine or tangent, they will be given to you in degree. The questions will be given to you in degrees, not in radian. So if your calculator is in radian mode, please remember to set it back to degree when you are doing other chapters. When you are doing physics, there will be cosine and tangent. And if you forget to change back to degree, ha, big trouble. All your answer is wrong. <laughs> Alright? Okay, right. So that is uh, the third formula. Yeah? This is the third formula to find the perimeter. 
Now the next one is to find the area, right? To find the area. Area of the segment or the shaded region. Okay, and the concept is this. The concept is to find the area of the segment, you use the area of the sector. Okay, let's not write it here. You use the area of the sector. Okay, minus it with this. Minus with, the tri with this triangle. See that? So minus with the area of the triangle will give you the area of the shaded region right so that will give you this part oops that will give you this part okay which is what you're looking for area huh? so the area of the sector is something that you have uh, learned area of the sector is 1 over 2 r square theta minus now the area of the triangle comes from the the, the uh, 1 over 2 times height times base same thing with the angle theta over here okay you got to find the height you got to find the base and 1 over 2 times height times base would be the area of the triangle basically the formula after you simplify everything is 1 over 2 r square sine theta okay it's actually very easy to remember the area of the sector is 1 over 2 r square theta minus the area of the triangle is 1 over 2 r square sine of theta all right so Another way to do this, to make it easier, right? You, if you notice, 1 over 2 r square and 1 over 2 r square is the same thing, you may factorize it out. So in bracket, it's theta minus sine theta. And that is the formula to find area of segment or shaded region. All right. So something else that to take note of, again, as usual, this theta... This theta must be in radian and this theta must be in degree. Yeah, because there is a sign after it, there is a sign before it. Uh, unless, of course, your calculator is in radian mode, right? Like, like what I said, yeah? If you keep your calculator in degree mode, then please remember to change this to radian manually. And this, you must put it, remain, let it remain in degree. Even though they are both from the same angle. They are both the same angle, yeah? One in radian, one has to be in degree. That's all. Okay. And like I said, this formula and this is not given in your formula list. Okay. In your uh, exam formula list. But uh, there are a lot of questions that has to do with these two things. Segment, perimeter and area of segment. All right. So um, you can hang around and uh, look out for the video tutorials of some questions that I will make uh, with regards to this chapter. All right. And this chapter always comes out in paper two, section B. One of the question. Yeah, it's a long question. It's a 10 mark question. So I will do some video tutorials on those questions. I'll see you around.